Here is what you can do while staying at this one-of-a-kind Airbnb geodesic dome based on our experience back in mid-June. There are two outdoor seating areas that you can lounge at. The Adirondack chairs at the front of the dome window where you can watch Coal Lake and the picnic bench behind the dome where you can get a bit more privacy and shade. I can't get over the wonderful bird sounds at this location. Take a look and listen. There is so much activity that goes on Coal Lake that you can get mesmerized just watching. From the water rippling on the lake, to the sun shining on the lake, or the sun showcasing the hillside along the lake. The views here are just stunning. To boating. Guests have access to kayaking for one or two people at this property. There is a dock that goes right out onto Coal Lake that you can get in and out of the kayak. The boat you see in this video is not part of your stay at the Airbnb and is not available for use. Depending on if you are going solo or with a partner, each of you will get a life jacket and paddle to use along with the kayak. If you need assistance with the kayak, make sure to contact Bob for help with advance notice. The kayak itself is pretty stable to be in while we were using it. Here is what we experienced while kayaking. We got to watch birds fly above and land onto Coal Lake. We got to see a family of geese with their goslings swimming on the lake. This was such a pleasant sight to witness. There are places on the kayak to pack your personal items. Just make sure they are in waterproof bags. You can even get cell reception out on Coal Lake. I got to call Bob from our kayak to come pick us up at the dock later on. If you're interested in booking this Airbnb geodesic dome, head to the video description below for more information. A pickleball court is available on the property for additional recreation. So here's kind of like the gathering area where you can get all your recreational items. And then pretty much on the left hand side here, this is the pickleball court. We didn't take full advantage of this as the weather was 30 degrees Celsius and the wildfire smoke at the time made for very poor air quality. For those who are avid nature trail walkers, Pipestone Creek Conservation Land is about a 15 minute walk or 5 minute drive from the geodome. We are here at the public access point for the Pipestone Creek Conservation Lands and you can tell by the signs you see. So we're going to go up. These are not paved trails, these are natural trails. So their entrance point is not near the barbed wire, it's in that little V. So you go through that, okay? And you'll keep walking down and you will see a map for Pipestone Creek. So it's a foot access and day use only no motorized vehicles when you go visit pipestone creek conservation lands you visit their website i'll have a link in the video description below for more information on visiting here we never knew there would be pelicans at coal lake we were able to capture a pelican here and there just chilling on the water we got to watch a squadron of pelicans in the air they are the most majestic birds to watch when they fly we even got to witness a pelican take off from the water, then land right on the water. Watch. I want you to take off. Or go diving. Yeah. There, 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 there. Follow him, follow him. Ooh. There he is. There. Ooh. Oh, just gliding just near the surface of the water. Keep That's pretty cool. Keep him centered, keep him centered, zoom out, zoom out, or whatever. Nice shot. There we go. go. Down a little bit. There. We, oh, that's oh, a sweet shot. There we go. That's a sweet shot. That was a sweet landing. That was cool. We got to see a beaver swimming in the water, which was cool to see. What is it, hon? Looks like a beaver. We got to see cows on the other side of Coal Lake. This was the first time in my life that I got to see cows just chilling and taking a drink from Coal Lake. They are just so peaceful to watch. Then later, we got to watch two wild hares in front of the dome. The wild hares were such a cute, fuzzy treat to watch while staying at the dome. Oh, it's cleaning itself. Hmm, cool. Holy, it's cleaning itself. It is. We truly appreciated having the Sony wireless speaker available. Listen to your favorite music loud and with a light show. The outdoor lighting and solar lights make the dome look gorgeous at sunset. 
Feel free to just gaze at the dome during this time frame and as the night progresses. Mornings can get cold in the dome even in mid-June and having a nice hot cup of coffee is such a nice touch to warm up. As part of your stay, you will get Keurig cups of coffee of whatever brand that's provided. We got Folgers Coffee, a brand that I grew up with, which was a very comforting familiarity for me. And of course, we had to get French Vanilla Coffee Creamer to go along with our coffee for additional flavor to enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, help our channel by hitting the like button, sharing with a friend, and subscribing for more glamping content to come. For a full list of what to bring and for tips on first time glamping, check out our blog article here or in the video description below. In addition, check out our videos on what to pack for glamping part 1 and 2 for your next glamping experience here on our video playlist or in the video description below.